Anong message mo sa ibang nurses that they think the stock market is too complicated for them? Parang tingin-tingin nila numbers lang eh. What can you say to encourage them? So actually, ang dami kong mga um, co-nurses, co-workers na Filipino na I try to. Siguro kailangan lang talaga you have to dedicate and siguro kung ano yung future plan mo. So, if you clear your future goal mo and what you really want to have in your life, so all else will follow as well. Everywhere I go, I try to interview Kababayan so you get to hear their stories because we all can learn from each other. We all can learn from their stories. Some have good stories, some also have memorable experiences that you can also learn from as well. So for this very, very first edition of the video series here in Melbourne, we have Chari, yes? Yes. Who's been here for how many years now? For, so for total of five years. Five years. So two years of that student visa kami nung husband ko na now. Yung first couple of years namin, it's really hard because we have to juggle yung student life and then at the same time, kailangan namin nung work life to pay for the rent, mga ganyan. You were a student first year. Pero was that enough also naman to be able to pay for your day-to-day -day needs naman yes. here? So yung nagusta namin in Australia kasi um, I'm a nurse now here. Pero at the start, hindi ako nurse. So I was working odd jobs. So I was working in a cafe. Kahit di ako marunong magluto before. I was working as a kitchen hand. So wow. very odd job. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay. And then my husband tried to do butchery as well. Saka mga factory work. So just to survive and pay for the rent. Thankfully, na-approve ako for nursing was, was it hard also doing odd jobs na parang so, you, you were doing nursing work? Tapos, ay, you were studying for nursing probably sa Philippines yun din yung line of work mo uh, pati yun din yung course mo tapos to do a different ano tapos syempre that's very humbling also what, what was going through your mind when that was happening? So, at the start parang sabi ko I didn't study just for this pero at the same time yun nga very humbling siya kasi ang hirap ng work na magkikitchen ka at one point parang siguro nagkasugat-sugat na yung hand ko with how yung mainit na water tapos very strong detergents as well mga ganon. So, magtatapon ka ng malalaking bins, malalaking garbage bag, mga ganon. So, very, very nice experience siya. Na parang looking back, it molded you as a person as well. Tsaka ma-appreciate mo yung work and do work best as best as you. While you were doing those odd jobs, nakakapag-save naman ba kayo? Or hindi pa? It was hard it was hard to save at that time. It was very hard kasi mga, siguro mga 10-15 dollars lang per hour. So, mga 400. Mamalaki na siya in pesos. 400 pesos. Pero because the cost because of living of the here cost of is high, it's, it's hard also. So, parang yung rent ko is 1,000 dollars. $1, tapos, you have to pay for your schooling pass mo. Kasi, syempre, you don't wanna really depend on, you know, yung family mo na payong baliktad sila, payong magsisend sa'yo ng money. So, you just have to really, parang, work so, did you bring savings from the Philippines to Punta Dito? Or uh, we're very naman? lucky na yung, yung both of our parents are very supportive. So, somehow, meron kaming pocket money. Pero, after nung pocket money na yun, hindi na kami nag-try mag-ask until I have to study for the nursing na three months. After studying, you already had the opportunity to work as a nurse. Siyempre, salaries went higher already. Mm. As salaries went higher, you had money to save, yes? yes. As you had money to save, you already wanted to invest in the stock market. Mm. So now, what was your first stock that you ever bought? So I first bought Ayala Corporation and Ali, Ayala Land. Kasi medyo mas pricier din siya as compared to other stocks. So parang since nag-start pa lang kami mag-invest, kailangan mag-save, save, save para okay. makakuha nun. Pero yun nga lang, it's more of recommendation stocks. Pero ngayon, yung Ayala Corporation, sobrang laki na ng ginain niya sa portfolio ko din. Okay. So yun, I think very wise investment din naman siya. Worst mistake that you've ever done in your stock trading career? I get into the hype no, sa mga stocks na may makikita ka sa Facebook post na buy gantong stock, ganyan. Pero um, ang initial reaction ko, oh, maganda daw yung projection, so I buy agad. 
Pero yun pala is nasa downward trend na siya. So, nalulugi din pala. In terms of percentage, biggest percentage loss because of that? 20 to 30 percent. 20 to 30 percent. Did you sell or are you still holding it right well, now? Sell na. Sell, <laughs> sell na. Nag-cut loss na agad. Oh, ano, so, what was going through your mind na nag-cut loss ka? Ano ba to? Nasayang ko yung money ko na sana okay. na-invest ko na lang sa different stocks. Sobrang nakakasad siya na gano'n na parang bumili ako agad without knowing anything about it. Are you okay to share? What stock was this? Nakalimutan ko na. Nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> na bonus. I, I choose to forget about ah, talaga, that. Talaga, talaga. Okay. What's your take also on buying something without knowing the reason why you're supposed to buy it? Parang binili mo lang siya because of this this, 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 but because deep inside you're not too sure of what you're buying. Ano rin in my mindset na getting rich quickly as well. Pero uh, tapos na nagsustart na siyang bumaksak na parang it's more complicated than just expecting na tataas to kasi sinabi ng ibang tao. It's more of kailangan talaga pala pag-isipan and you have to know about the company itself and what they stand for. Siguro yun yung biggest learning na nakuha ko. Dapat alam mo yung company and what they stand for as well. And if you believe in what they stand for as well, I think that would be a good um, investment in the future. Galing. Why are you here pala in Australia? Are you planning to stay here already? What's your main goal of being here? Um, Because we really love the work-life balance here. So, Wala kang work maka! Puro balance! Puro balance! balance. So, parang siguro at the moment, we're saving enough money siguro to live comfortably. You know? uh, ah, so you, you, you plan to go back? Mm, go back. Go Pero, back oh. Okay. Pero siguro like, syempre may mga changes uh, sa plan, yeah. like family and stuff like that. So, siguro in-expect ko rin is, or future din na in-expect ko is, ma-apply ko yung fundamental analysis okay, sa dito sa Australia. Ah, galing. Naman. So, you plan to invest in Planning PSE invest. and ASX na rin. Yes. Another question. You're a nurse, yes? yes? Anong message mo sa ibang nurses that they think the stock market is too complicated for them? Parang, tingin-tingin nila numbers lang eh. What can you say to encourage them? So, actually, ang dami kong mga um, co-nurses, co-workers na Filipino na I try to encourage them to invest sa stock market. Mm -hmm. um, siguro, kailangan lang talaga you have to dedicate and siguro kung ano yung future plan mo. So kung clear yung future goal mo and what you really want to have in your life, siguro all else will follow as well. The key point I got from this is number one, even if you're a nurse, okay lang it. It should not be a hindrance for you to invest. And number two, huwag mong papadala sa emotions, emotions and, hype. And, and hype. And number three, what did you feel when you got a loss? Anong biggest learning mo, biggest takeaway from it? It will serve as a learning for you not to repeat the same mistakes again. And yun, para kailangan you have to look into mm. um, the company and all other things. Alright, so yun, galing. That you don't let your losses define all. So weird kasi a lot of people when they make a mistake, they quit with an ayaw na nila mag -invest. You did a good job na you are trying to at least learn from it and then learn from it as well. So, ayun, that's it. See you all again soon. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Bye! Bye!